I want to share with you all a supernatural experience. So let me say this. The supernatural is more real than the natural. So you cannot use the logical, natural sense of this world to understand the supernatural. Does that make any sense? So you cannot use Uh, you cannot use the thinking of this world as a reference point to understand anything about the supernatural because it is not going to make sense. It is not. In order to understand the supernatural, you have to anchor your mind toward the supernatural. Even if things seem unbelievable. Okay. Let me see. So maybe one or two years ago, I believe, I would be in my room and every so often, not every day, I would see random sparks appear in my room. And I was thinking, what in the world is this? And I was thinking maybe it is my imagination, perhaps. Okay. But the thing about that, it was happening more often. So I was thinking, hey, this is supernatural. <laughs> so, I forget who I was talking to, but I believe, no, yes. I was watching this one video, and it was a video about, I believe, John Paul Jackson was speaking about interpreting dreams and stuff like that and he was speaking about you know seeing sparks in the atmosphere and stuff like that and from what he said I believe he said that when you see sparks appear in your atmosphere that is your angel and a demon fighting so you are seeing the warfare when you see the sparks not all of the warfare but you are seeing like the sparks are coming from them fighting if that makes any sense so whether your angel has a sword or something like that or a demon has a sword and you are seeing the sparks happening from the warfare does that make any sense? So we have to know that angels are out there fighting on our behalf. And when you are living for God, let me say this. This is one of the reasons why it is not safe for you to play around in this world. I know that many people want to do whatever they want to do in life. You know, they want to go partying, sinful partying, getting drunk, doing drugs and stuff like that. They just want to have fun. But what you have to understand, if demons could, they would kill us right now. So the only reason that you are not dead is because God is protecting you. Imagine if God tells your angel to go somewhere else imagine what is going to happen to you you are not going to stay alive for long because if God takes away his protection his protection from us there is no way that we can stay alive for long so really take heed to this you are protected even people 
who choose to not serve God, they are protected too, to a certain extent. I don't think they are protected as much as people who follow God, but they are still protected. So really count your blessings. God bless.